idea pad. All right, so I think we worked this before. So this was um, the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. And then I was like, well, that's kind of interesting that you say IdeaPad Gaming 3 because I was thinking ThinkPad, which turns out that this, I think, is a ThinkPad. So basically I got a Lenovo laptop a month ago and was working fine until last night when I was playing Overwatch and it crashed and I tabbed out and turned off Nvidia settings in Valorant Vanguard, which is the security settings for Valorant. The, re the weird thing is the power light is on, the backlit is still working, but I can't turn on the caps lock. I've drained it and moved the RAM. I had NVIDIA Drive update pending. So we talked about this and I said, okay, sounds like the GPU was installing the driver, thus freezing your system. Because he said that he had the drive update pending. So I was, it almost felt like his, his, his drive was, was upgrading while he was gaming, or maybe it got pressed accidentally. And whenever you try to do that while actually playing the game, it can definitely crash you. But I just wanted to make sure and I said, uh, is the issue resolved currently? You can also go to the event viewer and start from, from start and clicking on event logs and system and go where the issue occurred to see if there was a critical error uh, that has the letter NV in it. And I'll explain that here in a second. He said, I really can't do anything with the system itself since when I try to power up the laptop, all it does is just powering up the backlight on the keyboard and the, uh oh. Uh oh, let me think about this. Hold on. Uh, powering on the keyboard and the fans. Okay. Is the laptop plugged in? Okay. Okay. Let me explain to y'all what I'm thinking when he said that. So as soon as he said that, immediately I was thinking that he may have a hardware issue. But you also have to take it back some, right? Because remember, he has a laptop. A lot of the newer laptops get nerfed when they're on battery backup and they're not directly plugged into the AC power. So it's possible that his laptop is nerfed or he may have a bad battery, which is the, the lesser of two evils, right? So if he has a bad battery as opposed to a bad motherboard, then, then that may be okay because it would explain why it's not booting, but that's the reason why I'm asking, is it plugged in? Um, so was a critical error that, okay, that's me talking. Can't really do anything. Um, I, when I try to power up the laptop, all it does is just powering up the backlight on the keyboard and the fans. Okay, is the laptop plugged in? Do, uh, well, I was gonna say, does he have access to the battery, but I don't want him messing with it if he's not comfortable. So, hmm. Okay, is the laptop plugged in? Uh, the lights come on and the fans light up. Maybe his monitor is dead. The lights plug in. Also, do the lights stay on? If the laptop has a screen, and, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. The lights stay on. If, let me scroll down so everybody can see it. If the lights stay on, then hook a monitor into the back of it to see if it shows a picture. That's how you would troubleshoot that. So, so we're basically, so as soon as he said this, right? So as soon as he said, um, itself since when I try to power up the laptop, all it does is just powering up the backlighting on the keyboard and fans. So as soon as he said that, right, I'm thinking hardware, I'm thinking motherboard, I'm thinking power supply. Also, you can also say CPU and memory if you wanna do that, but at that point, we're already kinda, kinda high into the investment category of what he's gonna have to spend to fix this freaking issue. So I was, so, but at the same time, I was like, okay, well, all of those are valid conclusions of what he just said. Um, that whenever he tries to power it up, all he sees is backlight on the keyboard and the fans are spinning up. But really, it's a possibility that his monitor may be dead. So if it stays up, if it stays up, then I would say that you may just straight up have a bad monitor or your monitor may have died, but that wouldn't have actually have caused you to crash. Um, that, that, so that's not really, a, a monitor going out isn't responsible for a crash. It's just gonna go out and you just won't have a picture, but it won't crash your laptop. So that's why the monitor, even though it makes a lot of sense here, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be the problem. But just in case it is, I just said, told him to go ahead, hey, if the lights stay on, go ahead and hook up a secondary monitor. But if you ask me a percentage, I would say the chances of it being a monitor is like 5% because a monitor, a monitor can go out on you right now, but it's not gonna kick you out and crash you. 
So the fact that he got crashed makes me think that he may have had an issue with his graphics, which is even worse, right? Because that's just soldered onto the motherboard at that point. So all, everything looks bad, okay? So no matter what you say on this, like if you say CPU, if you say um, GPU, if you say uh, motherboard, or if you say like power or something along those lines or a short, all of it looks bad. Now, only thing that looks good is if it's memory or a battery, but um, if, it's, if it's memory, then it's gonna go out. The lights are gonna go out, which is why we asked. So if it's memory, the lights will eventually go back out. So it'll try to come on and then it will shut itself down because the memory's messed up. Or if it's a battery issue, then it may not just power on because he has the battery hooked in or something like that. So we can troubleshoot that if the, if the lights actually turn off, but we're playing it both ways. So we'll see what he says, but that's incredibly interesting. I hope his uh, laptop isn't dead. He got it a, a month ago? Yeah, that's scary, bro. That's scary. Just outside of his warrant or his um, returning policy, he may have to RMA that bad boy. I'm sorry. Um, we'll let him know. Uh, well, no, I think somebody probably is going to tell him, but this is starting to sound like an RMA, though, unfortunately. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like an RMA is waiting to happen here. So go ahead and do whatever it takes for you to get your RMA set up. Sometimes companies require you to log in within a certain amount of time uh, before uh, otherwise your RMA may go from a year to like three months or something. So just make sure that you go ahead and get that registered um, so that you, just in case you need to RMA this.